A fire ripped through a home on this very cold night, killing a guy and several animals. It happened in North Harris County. Yeah, it happened in, on Old Green Greens Road, and that's where we find reporter Rochelle Turner for us this morning. Rochelle, do we know how this fire started? Sophia Haley, good morning. Right now, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. It's about 32 degrees out here. It is really cold, and officials are not sure if this fire is heat-related, meaning they don't know if this family was trying to stay warm or keep those animals warm. Now, a woman and two children were able to escape this fire, but as for the house itself, the structure is still standing, but most of that damage is inside of the home. We've been seeing investigators going in and out of this house, but I want to show you some video from overnight. This happened just before one o'clock this morning. All Dean Fire arrived on scene within five minutes after they received the call. They found a man who was trying to get out of the house. He did not make it. Now, a female and two children were able to escape and they were taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. Now, the fire marshal's office is on scene trying to figure out what caused this blaze. The Harris County Sheriff's Office is reminding people to take precautions during this Arctic blast. Take a listen. One thing we're always trying to encourage people again, well, if we have space heaters, again, that does not mean to say that this was caused by, uh, this is a heating uh, fire caused by heating equipment. But one thing we're always cautioning people to say, uh, to know is that if they have space heaters, I always like to say, give space heaters space, right? And I know it's cold, but give space heaters uh, space. Don't try to stand on top of them. Don't try to crowd them in a room with you. Um, don't have a lot of things that can catch fire within three feet uh, of a space heater, right? Make sure they're on a flat surface. Uh, just make sure that they're not going to tip over. Also, one thing that's huge, right? I know it's cold and we're trying to stay warm, but if you leave a room with a space heater, go ahead and shut that off. And right now, it's still very early in this investigation. We're not sure the age of those two children that were able to make it out of that home or how many animals uh, died from this blaze. Uh, the Harris County Sheriff's Office and the Fire Marshal's Office are continuing to provide us updates and say they will continue to push out the latest information through their social media pages throughout the morning. That's the very latest reporting live here in North Harris County. I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. All right, Rochelle, thank you for